Hey guys, welcome back to Mama Dubay. I'm Shelby and I make videos all about motherhood. I am a stay-at-home mom to a two-year-old and if you've been watching my previous videos, you know that I'm also expecting. I feel like I can already see the line. Today is January the 14th, so I am almost 14 weeks pregnant. As of tomorrow, I will officially be 14 weeks pregnant, and I'm going to try my best to get you guys up to date as soon as possible. So this video might come out a little bit late, but it won't be that late. And in today's video, I have a lot to share with you today, some updates that I haven't told you guys about, some changes with Lucas, and some things that I'm trying to change um, in my life because I really want to feel like I am in control again, especially before I have a newborn. So I'm gonna be sharing all of that with you today. Since it's Friday, today is our grocery day, so I'll be picking up groceries and I may include a grocery haul for you today, especially because that's part of something that I'm doing for myself as far as trying to take better care of myself. We had the holidays happen and then my whole family had COVID and we weren't feeling well. So we were sitting around watching TV constantly and just not feeling, you know, like our best selves. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some breakfast going and then I'll sit down and chat with you once we're at the table. gonna make um, some scrambled eggs for us. I've been wanting some avocado toast and this avocado has sat in my windowsill a little too long. So I'm gonna make that. Lucas hears me talking to the camera. Can you come say hi? Come here. You see? Say hi. It's hot. It's hot. We don't touch the stove, right? And it's hot. What are we gonna do today? Mom, what, where do we have to go? Mama. Mama's car. Hey, what did you do this morning with your passies? Where did you put your passies this morning? Trash. In the trash? You threw them in the trash? Because you're a big boy now? <laughs> yeah. So we threw his passies in the trash today. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. How that goes, he only gets them for bedtime anyway. But. That's uh, uh, boy. Uh, mm. Okay. I hope they're still edible, but look. Yikes. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. Not gonna lie, this side does not taste very good. Probably gonna have to give him some syrup. You got some toasty pancakes? Come on, I come on. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Hi. So I have this tendency to not eat when I want to sit down and chat with you guys. So I'm gonna eat first. I made some avocado toast with scrambled eggs on top. And then I wanted to chat a little bit about our appointment yesterday. Yeah, I uh, had my second appointment and I filmed after it, like what happened and everything, but it wasn't very much footage. So I'll just put that in right here. It was yesterday. So while I finish this food, you can watch that. Hey guys, so it's after my appointment and again, I'm sitting here outside of Chick-fil-A waiting on my curbside delivery. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to let you know how it all went. 
we did another ultrasound and I was really hoping that they would be able to confirm whether or not the sneak peek tests were accurate, but the ultrasound tech w wasn't very interested in doing that. I'm slightly irritated because I feel like she could have looked and just tried, but she just didn't really want to spend her time doing that. It's just frustrating. When they went in to check uh, on the cyst and everything, I did get to see the baby and the baby was moving around and um, I didn't get very many good pictures of the baby, so I'll share what I did get. I'm, again, slightly irritated, you know, regardless of why I'm there for the ultrasound, I'm paying for the ultrasound, so I'm just, I just kind of wish it would have been a little bit more in depth and that she would, she would have tried a little harder to get better pictures and everything. And then I saw the doctor and the doctor explained that she didn't think that the cyst was going to cause any issues and since I am almost 14 weeks now, in the next two appointments, I will be doing an anatomy scan anyway, so they'll be able to check it out once again. So in a sense, we're monitoring it anyway, whether or not I'm seeing a specialist. So um, I'm not so worried about it anymore. I had some blood work done. It was just standard blood work. I'm not doing any of the genetic testing this time around. It's expensive and we didn't have any issues last time, so we're just trusting that everything is going to be fine with this baby. And I also got the chlamydia and gonorrhea test done, which is always fun. Uh, yeah, I am not concerned about that test in any way, shape or form. It's just a routine test that they do. And yeah, so I am waiting on my food. And once my food is here, I'm gonna go pick up Lucas and we will head home after that. So yeah, that's how my appointment went. And I don't want to harp on it, but I think I mentioned I think I mentioned it in the clip that I just shared. But I'm just really aggravated with how that appointment went. So yeah, I had another ultrasound, and it was to check the length of my cervix because I have a Nabothian cyst on my cervix. That's the type of cyst I have, and normally those are not a big deal. But yeah. mine was extremely large when I was pregnant with this guy, so they were worried about it. My doctor said. Um, they were worried about the integrity of my cervix. So anyway, this time it's smaller and they're not as concerned about it. So when I went in for the ultrasound, the ultrasound tech was like, I don't really know why you're here. And I tried to explain it to her and um, she was trying to just do the ultrasound on my belly, which didn't make sense to me because obviously they needed to look at my cervix. Again, sorry, this is TMI for my family if you're watching. Just skip ahead a little bit but anyway I had also gotten the results from um, my sneak peek test which I'll do a whole video on that after the anatomy scan when we do confirm the gender but I asked if they would look to confirm that now I was 13 weeks and six days no 13 weeks and five days at my appointment and you know I know that that's early but I know other places can tell you the gender if they really can get a good look at it. And I just feel like she didn't even try. Like she really didn't even try. Um, she ended up doing a ultrasound on top and the other way and um, just wasn't interested in looking. Like she just said it was too early and she also said that the results of my sneak peek test could be wrong, which I know that. I know that it's not 100% accurate. I just felt kind of dismissed and like rushed it's just frustrating because the baby. the baby the baby is growing in mommy's tummy the baby mm -hmm. the baby i just felt like you know this might not be my first pregnancy but i'm still excited and i have to pay for this ultrasound you know so while it's my turn to have my ultrasound that i'm paying for why not just try to get cute pictures like if she was the one on my end, wouldn't she want the tech to try? Um, anyway, I've never had any issues with this practice and I don't want to complain. It's not something that I want to have going on, but enough about that. My next appointment will be on February 10th and that one is just like a normal checkup. I bet it'll be super fast. They'll just listen to the heartbeat and send me on my way. 
at that point I'll be almost 18 weeks pregnant and then I'll schedule after that the anatomy scan. So hopefully this new COVID variant will have settled down by then and my husband can come because he hasn't been able to attend any of these ultrasounds so far. So that's how all of that went. Also, since the last time that I vlogged, <clears throat> Lucas actually turned two. He's playing in the playroom, so that's that noise in the background, but this is the only chance I'm gonna get to talk to you like this. So yeah, he had his second birthday and we had a small little party at my dad's house for him and saying happy birthday. And I did get a little bit of footage. I'll share that with you guys here. And it was super fun. I really think Lucas understood or sort of understood that it was his birthday. He kept walking around singing happy birthday to Lucas. I didn't get it on camera. I really tried, but I need to clean up this kitchen and get ready to go because my grocery order is ready at 11 and it's 10:45. So I'm going to be late picking that up, but I also have to go by target to get the things that they weren't able to get. So I will catch you on our way out. You okay back there? I hear you going, oh. All right, so we are off to Target and then doing a Kroger pickup. We're going to a different one, not that that matters to you guys. But all of a sudden, my Kroger said they were out of everything. And I think they just, maybe they were already full on their pickups or something. So. Anyway, what? It's a Magda. Is it a motorcycle? Yes, it's a Magda. Silly, go touch it. Oh, Sorry, we have to touch the ball. <laughs> so we ran into Target and be proud of me because we didn't go anywhere except for the grocery area. I also saw the pepperoni Pizza Hut pizzas and resisted those as well. And I'm pregnant, so you know those cravings can be very intense. We stuck to the plan, got the groceries. Lucas was such a big helper in there. And when we got there, he had to touch all the balls, you know, all the red balls in front of Target. Um, but it was a nice little outing. I think he had a good time. I know it's just an outing to Target, but hey, you gotta get out of the house sometimes. So now we're going to swing by Kroger and do our grocery pickup and head home for lunch. Never done this one here. We're back. There's some groceries, gotta go get the rest. Let's move this glass. And let's start the dishwasher real quick. Heavy. Heavy. Okay, hopefully one more try. Okay, I'm gonna get Lucas some lunch and get all these out of the bags, and then we're gonna do a grocery haul. So we haven't had lunch yet, but he's going to eat this for lunch, so I wanted to show you. Lucas picked out one of these. He's never had these before. We don't usually do pouch uh, things, but I figured why not? So I'm gonna give him this, and I'm gonna make him a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And some other kind of snack to go with that. And then I will do the grocery haul. That was from Target. Okay, so while Lucas eats his lunch, I'm gonna show you the rest of the Target haul other than the little smoothie that I showed you a second ago. 
Kroger said that they were out of spinach, so I got this from Target, as well as some lettuce because I am trying to take care of myself by eating better. We got some more blueberries. Um, Lucas grabbed this and we like cheese around here, so I went ahead and said yes. Some cotija, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but some cheese. We're gonna make some Mexican style corn. We picked out some cookies for Lucas and I wanted to also try these cheap animal crackers. I grew up on these. <laughs> So hopefully he'll like them. And then they were out of this yogurt at Kroger. So we got it at Target for Robert's lunch. Two apples, one's an Envy and one's a Jazz Apple. Lucas also picked these and I wasn't gonna say no because they're apples. And that's all for Target. I'm gonna do the frozen stuff first. I absolutely love these Outshine bars and I've never tried the pomegranate flavor. They were out of raspberry, which is my favorite. Frozen broccoli, mixed vegetables. And baby lima beans. We got some cheese sticks for Robert's lunch. Some cheese. And um, this is that cream cheese, the new Fushitel. I mentioned we're gonna be making Mexican street corn. And these are the ingredients for that. So we got the corn itself. I got rotten cilantro. I don't know. Who in their right mind thinks that that's an okay thing to sell, but we'll be going back to get more of that. Um, we got this lime mayo. I am not a fan of mayonnaise, but as long as it has all the other good stuff with it, I won't be able to taste the mayo. The lime and the co cotija cheese. I already put that away. I picked up some tomatoes, red onion. We're also going to have um, what's called burrilla tacos. My husband's best friend, Aaron, makes this occasionally and it is so good. It's like, I think it's beef and the way it's cooked, um, all the juices come out. So then there's this delicious broth basically that comes out of the beef. And then you take corn tortillas, a little bit of cheese. He used mozzarella cheese and onion and cilantro and you just cook them on a griddle. Corn tortillas add the meat, add the cheese, add the cilantro and the onion, and then fold it. And they are so good. My son actually ate an entire one the other day, and it was probably the third time he was introduced to it because it's just very flavorful, not something you would think a two-year-old would want to eat. But anyway, we have some leftovers from the last time that he made it. They're frozen, and I don't want my leftovers that are frozen to go bad, so I'm making an effort to use up those things in the freezer. So anyway, here are the corn tortillas. Here's the onion. We also picked up regular flour tortillas and some diced tomatoes. I wanted some fresh broccoli. There's just two heads of broccoli in here. One humongous regular onion. Three more avocados. Some bananas and another lemon. I also got two um, baking potatoes. Got some baby carrots for my husband's lunch. Um, a cucumber because I'm trying to eat more salads and I need some toppings to go on them. And some baby bok choy. I love bok choy in stir fries or like ramen soups and stuff like that. One of my favorite vegetables. We got some raspberries and some mozzarella cheese to go on those burrilla tacos. Some ground beef, kombucha, a couple of body armors. I also picked up a body armor from Target, by the way. I already drank it though. My favorite coffee creamer, this is Chobani brand. We only got two 12 packs of eggs, which is probably not gonna be enough since my husband's back to work and he gets boiled eggs at his lunch every day. I've got some dish soap. I also got dishwasher detergent. I used it as soon as we got home because the dishes were dirty. I love this stuff for my hair. I don't spend a lot on products. That's just me. I'm pretty low maintenance, but this is great for dry hair. And then I picked up some vitamins for Lucas. So he's two now, so I think it's time that we can start doing this. Croutons for my salad. A rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna put this on my salad today. And granola bars for when I don't have a homemade like muffin or granola bar for Robert's lunch. One pretty unhealthy snack. Lucas actually had a few of these for the first time today with his lunch. 
I really like them. So a loaf of whole wheat bread and all of these paper towels. <laughs> they must have been out of the six count. So that's it. I am going to get Lucas down for his nap and then I'm gonna make myself some lunch because I'm very hungry right now. I'm gonna chat with you then about my New Year's goals, whatever you wanna call them. I don't really wanna call them a resolution or really a goal. It's just how I wanna live my life in 2022. Okay, so here I am at the table once again with some food. Here's my salad, you just saw me make it. And I just really wanted to chat about what I am trying to do for myself in the new year. Let me try to adjust the lighting in here, hold on. I think that's a little bit better. The salad looks really good and I don't wanna wait to eat it. Just have one bite. One thing, if you're wondering if my son is napping without his passy, he was kicking the wall and everything, but He's finally settled down, so I think he's gonna go to sleep. And I really think that now it was the best time because like I told you guys, we all had COVID and he wasn't able to sleep with his pacifier in anyway. Okay, so what I'm trying to do for myself in the new year, I have not really been taking good care of myself as far as really anything goes. Like I realized the other day that I, was still using the same makeup from before Lucas was born. I hadn't bought any new makeup and I was really just using like the bottom of every bit of it. So I ended up going and buying some new makeup and that just makes you feel better. You know, I spent 50 bucks on makeup and then also when I had Lucas and I had a newborn, it took over my life in such a way that I was in survival mode for the next year and a half. And I get it. Like you're bringing a whole new person into your life. Your whole life changes and all of that. I get it. Like it makes sense that you kind of lose yourself to a degree. I also had severe back pain. So I was dealing with that. I was actually in survival mode for a year and a half. This time I am believing and I am going to do everything in my power, which it's not in my power, but I'm really hoping I don't have the back issues that I had when I had Lucas. So that's not going to be a factor. That's not in my head. I want to continue doing physical things like yoga, um, going on walks and moving my body throughout my pregnancy. I need to stay moving. I need to keep bending down um, and all of that so that I stay strong in my body. So I'm not saying I'm gonna do yoga every single day, but I am going to work on doing that for myself in the morning. I kind of need more of a morning routine, a morning routine where I can focus a little bit on myself, not just get up and edit or just get up and fix my husband's lunch and send him to work and then play on my phone until Lucas wakes up. I need to actually get up, get excited about the day and get mentally ready to be a mom. I have not always been in the best mental place as a stay at home mom. So I wanna move my body and I want to fuel my body better. Like I said, I'm not saying that I'm never gonna eat something bad. Like you saw me earlier in the video when I was at my, or after my doctor's appointment, I was eating Chick-fil-A. I didn't eat anything healthy then. But the point is, is I'm not doing that every day. I'm not gonna have ice cream every day. I'm not gonna eat something sweet every day. I am I want to put vegetables in my body and eat in a way that I am gonna feel good. So that is more my priority. I'm not trying to lose weight, obviously. I'm pregnant, <laughs> but I want to feel good. I wanna feel strong. This year, I'm gonna do my best to not let becoming a mom again to a second child <laughs> take over my life in such a way that I completely lose 
everything good or everything about me. I say all this knowing what it's like to have a newborn and I'm also gonna have a toddler, but I'm challenging myself to still prioritize myself at the same time take care of my newborn and pri prioritize the baby and you know and my whole family's needs because that's what I stay at home to do. I also would like to start reading a physical book. I never really sit down and open a physical book. And a lot of that I have said beca is because of my toddler. <laughs> he needs to learn that mommy has her own things to do too and that that's okay. I'm gonna be really busy with this newborn baby and I want this baby to grow up knowing that too. I want this baby to know that my needs are met but mommy has needs too. So it's important to me that Lucas understands that. And I know it's not gonna happen overnight, but even if I challenge myself to read one chapter of a book every day or something like that, that will be beneficial to me. It's something I really enjoy doing and I've always loved reading. I have to keep prioritizing myself so I don't lose who I am. I had a really rough time postpartum last time and I don't want that to happen this time. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, if you're watching my channel, you'll see how it all goes. But one of the first things I'm going to do is really work on having a routine in the morning. I'm just going to do things a little bit differently. I hope uh, this whole topic helps you if you're a parent to just kind of realize that it's okay to prioritize yourself and your needs. Do something for yourself. It could be one little thing. Lucas is still playing up there. I'm probably gonna go up there and check on him. But I am also gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I probably have a lot of content for today, so I don't want this to be a 30 minute long video. Hopefully it's not, but we will see. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because my next video is gonna be all about how to survive the first trimester. I'm gonna be talking about all the things that helped me get through the first trimester. So that will be my next video and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Sooner or later, I will start posting weekly updates on my pregnancy and sharing my baby bump a little bit more. I am not a super thin woman, so it's not something that I'm ready to really share with you on a weekly basis and I will get there eventually. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos about pregnancy and motherhood and all the things that we do as parents. And like the video if you didn't already, it really helps me to be found on YouTube and for other people to see the video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.